So if you have a baby who's not pooping, and let me tell you, if you don't do pediatrics and you don't have your own kids, a four-month-old baby either poops all the time or never. That's pretty much where they're at. So that's pretty common. So if they are not pooping, what's going to happen to the pressures in the abdomen over the couple of days that they're not pooping? The pressure is going to go up. Eventually, the baby's really hungry. They want the food, but the pressure can't leave through the pyloric sphincter, so it leaves where? Up. And that's called reflux. So now the baby learns that eating is associated with reflux and pain. They have very few planned motor responses. They are reactive motor responses as an infant. So when they get pain, they learn really quickly to respond. So if I get reflux, I'm going to move away, which takes me into extension. I'm going to move away from the reflux. But if that reflux continues, it's persistent. I'm not talking a little baby spit up when you're doing this with the baby, okay? That's normal. It hasn't actually gotten all the way down to the stomach. There's no acid in it. It comes out the formula exactly or the breast milk exactly the way it went in. I'm talking about acid reflux. So they go into extension to move away, trying to drop the pressure so that there's less pressure at the lower esophageal sphincter. If it continues, that sphincter is on the left. They go into extension and right rotation. So one of the things that you'll notice with kids who have torticollis, if it is due to GI, is you'll notice their torticollis isn't with head flexion and turning to the right. You're going to see it's with extension. <coughs> That would be true also if it was breathing or airways related. They're all very similar. 